You're late. I know. I left early, but there was a real bad accident on the street. Really? Who told you I like lilies? Sometimes a man gets lucky. Looks like somebody likes... I was noticing all the pictures of the horses. You look good. I love horses, and thank you. Oh, here, uh, let me take these from you. You ever see the accident rates on these things? Very dangerous. No. That's why I dropped this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're joking, right? Nope. Oh. drive when you take out a woman? Yeah, it's clean and it's free. I'm saving to buy a house. Oh, I can understand that. I mean, home ownership is very important. Does your mother live with you? No. Even better. So my boss has been hinting he might want to slow down, let somebody run the day-to-day -day for him. I think he might want me to do it. It's great. When do you start? Thinking about it. There is nothing wrong with a little ambition, Raymond. I mean, I was a secretary in my department. Now I'm the lead inspector. I gave myself five years to get there. I did it in four. There you go, doing that thing you do with your face again. Just drive your meat wagon, man. Did you hear about the black caveman they found? They knew he was black by the curve of his jaw, the length of his spine, Cadillac he was buried in. <laughs> okay, you tell me a joke now. I'm not a jokey joke type person, so... Okay, how about a little music? Ah. Ah. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I love this record. I will love you anyway Even if you cannot stay Then you are the one for me Even is where you are to me I just, just want to satisfy, satisfy you. But you're you're not, not mine and I can't deny it. Don't, don't you hear, hear me talking, talking, baby? Love, love me now or I'll, I'll go crazy. Whoa, sweet thing. Don't you know you're my everything? everything. <laughs> Whoa, sweet thing. Don't you know you're my everything? This must be a pretty good restaurant to be in a health inspector and all. Oh, yeah. Most places I can't even go to, they try to poison me. But this place is, oh, God, it's different. The manager has OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder. Huh. He cleans all day long. You could eat right off the floors. Sounds appetizing. Oh, you think that's funny? Well, did you know that if uh, food isn't prepared just right, your throat can close up and you can drown in your own vomit? Oh, I'm hungry now. Mmm. Just like Mama used to make them. Okay, it's really funny, Raymond, but I know when somebody's choking. <laughs> you can stop now. <laughs> oh my God! Call nine one one. <clears throat> That's not the hug I was hoping for, but it'll do for now. <laughs> 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 just playing. Is everything all right? Yes. Yes, yes my friend here was just telling a little joke. What are you doing here? Well, well, Inspector Dandridge. Now you, you manage the Red Leaf restaurant across town. <laughs> oh no, not after your last inspection. I was fired for a broken light bulb in a freezer. <laughs> Remember? No, 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 no. I, I, I don't want you. I want the man with OCD. Eva. Sorry, relax. the old manager's not here. How's that salad working? You know, we used our special house dressing just for you. Creamy, isn't it? I'm not eating here. Let's go. I'm sure. Did it's you okay. hear what I just said? 
I am not eating here. Let's go. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Don't forget to validate. Look, don't be mad at me. I just wanted to stay. And have her put things in my food? I don't think so, pal. I just think you overreacted a little bit. You're a civil servant, not the FBI. Well, excuse the hell out of me. Well, why don't you tell me about the demanding world of meat delivery? So, what, do you just basically pick it up and deliver it to a guy named Bob? Or is there some sort of, you know, math involved? You don't need to be so nasty. Oh, there is definitely a need for me to get nasty. My job is serious. It is not a hobby. Well, guess what, meat boy? I'm sure my job pays more than yours does. So in my eyes, the eyes of society and the IRS, that makes me bigger and better than you. So why don't you think about that the next time you're out doing the complex work of toting around a pig's ass?